there's been some confusion over how to solve problems with two annuities. And the biggest problem is knowing whether we should be looking for the future value or the present value. Now you have to use the present value formula for one of the annuities and the future value formula for the other annuity. But sometimes it's a little confusing to know which one to use. And if you don't use the correct one, you get a rather odd answer. So I've been thinking about it and I've come up with a couple of rules for you to follow. This should make it a little bit easier. But first, let's define PMT. That's what our calculator uses the term, which makes sense. It stands for payment. And let's call the payment the first annuity. So in the beginning, you're always saving some money so that you can withdraw a certain amount of money at a later time period. So we'll call that payment. We'll call the second annuity A. That's the annuity, that's the amount you're going to withdraw. Let me show you a, a little timeline picture. It might be a little bit clearer. And here it is. So in this case, you're saving PMT, arrow points down, so that means you're putting money into your account. It's a cash outflow. And in this case, you're saving it for 18 periods. And then you're going to withdraw A dollars each year for, in this case, four years. But of course, it could be any amount of time. This happens to be a college example that I'm going to do in a second where you're saving for your child's college education and you want to withdraw a certain amount each year while he or she is in college. So here's the rules. We have two rules. Rule number one says if you know PMT, that is you know how much you're saving each year, and you're trying to solve for how much you can withdraw, let's find the future value of PMT. That is, that will tell us how much money you've saved, and then use the present value formulas to solve for A. <clears throat> if you know, and then rule two is the opposite. If you know A, you know how much you want to withdraw each year, and you're trying to find out how much you need to save each year, find the present value of A, that is, that's telling us how much money you need to have in your account so that you'll be able to withdraw A dollars a year for um, the number of periods you want to withdraw it for, and then use the future value formula to solve for PMT. So it might be a little clearer if we just look at a numerical, a couple of numerical examples. Example number one. Suppose you want to be able to provide 50000 per year for the four years your child's in college. How much do you need to save each year for the 18 years to reach this goal if the interest rate is 7%? We know A, we know how much we want to withdraw. We want to find PMT. So let's follow rule two. We'll go back. We can take a quick look. Rule two says if you know A, then you want to find the present value of A and then use the future value formula to find PMT. So let's look at this. I've created this um, picture already. Okay, Here this is the amount we're saving and this is the amount we're withdrawing. And I'm assuming that it's an, we're going to use the ordinary annuity formula so that your first amount that you save will be one year from now and the first amount you withdraw will be one year after your last deposit is made. So rule two says let's find the present value sorry the uh, present value of A so the present value of A is going to be we'll use the financial calculator clear your time value of money workspace N is 4, the interest rate was 7%, the annuity is 50,000, and so we want to compute the present value. And so we have here 169,000, 360 dollars and 56 cents. And if you want to make it rounded up to three hundred and sixty one dollars that's fine the fifty six cents isn't particularly important what this tells us 
is that we need to have $169,360.56 in our account in year 18. Okay, we're using the ordinary annuity formula, so we're finding the present value one year before the first withdrawal is made. This is how much we have to have in our account to be able to withdraw this amount of money for those four years. Step two says, now use the future value formula in order to solve for the annuity, because this is now a future value, the 169,360. So the annuity is going to be equal to, and so I'm just going to use my financial calculator. In fact, somebody requested that I do that. Uh, let's clear our time value of money workspace. It's better if you just if you don't try and copy it back in here. I think we tried that in class and it turned out that there's still a number in PV and if you forget to perhaps put a zero in um, to clear that out you'll wind up with the wrong number. So let's just clear the workspace totally. We'll type in everything again by hand. It's not that much. Alright, in this case N is 18. We're saving for 18 periods. The interest rate is 7%. The future value, this is a future value amount. And if you're just following the formula I gave you or the rule I gave you, 169,360 and 56 cents, that's the future value in year 18 that we want. And let's just compute the payment. And so you need to save 4,000. Nine hundred and eighty-one dollars and thirty-three cents each year in order to reach this goal. All right, let's look at one more example that uses rule number one. Let's see, example two. Suppose you save ten thousand per year for the forty years you're working. How much can you withdraw each year? for the 30 years you are retired if the interest rate is 6%. Since we know PMT and we want to solve for A, this follows rule one. Rule one says find the future value of PMT and then use the present value formula to solve for A. So let's do that. All right, I've actually drawn out the little diagram here. So we know this, we want to solve for this, and our rule says find the future value of this. So this will tell us how much is in our account in year 40, and then we'll use the present value formula to solve out for the annuity. Okay, so the future value is going to be equal to, okay, the future value in year 40 is going to be equal to, clear my time value of money workspace, the number of periods is 40, the interest rate is 6%, I'm saving $10,000 per year, and I want to compute the future value, so I'm going to have $1,000,000 six hundred and nineteen dollars and sixty six cents in my account okay now we use now this number comes this amount here in year 40 comes before these annu this this annuity that we're withdrawing so essentially it's a present value but again just follow the formula okay whether you use the present or future value annuity formulas we said now we need to use the present value formula. So this is a present value, 1,547,600 and 66 cents. Okay, you're going to take the money out for 30 years. The interest rate is 6%. And so let's compute the annuity or the payment and so it looks like you can take out 
$112,432.88 each year. So I hope that's helpful. Again, you have to use both the future value and the present value formulas. Okay, but which one do you use first and which one do you use second? If you go back to my rules here, look and see what you know. If you know PMT, if you know how much you're saving, then apply the future value formula to PMT and then use the present value, treat that amount as a present value and solve for A. If you know A, you need to find the present value of A and then now that tells you the future amount you have to have when you save PMT dollars each year. So I hope this rule is helpful. Um, perhaps that, that will um, allow you to solve the problems more easily now that you have a rule of thumb.